Hi all of you, this is Gil. So on this video that's about to show up, it's a um, old video from August 2003. So during this time, it's when, um, I'll call it, I'm gonna walk out here. During this time, it's when I was like really full blown, like seeing Jenny Lynn at the time. I was visiting Jenny Lynn on a regular. So at the time, and and then going on to this time too, it's about the time when when um I started um recording on DVDs when the DVD recorder came out. Oh, they were out for a bit, but that, that's when I had the idea to record on DVDs like the video transfer all of my videos onto DVD. So that's what I was doing. And I was just having my life with the Ultima and everything. So yeah, I was having my life with my Ultima and everything. And I was seeing Jenny Lynn on a regular. So I mean, I, I was like visiting San Diego almost every weekend. So yeah, I mean, seeing Jenny Lynn and, and then I just got into this DVD and we're recording onto DVDs and stuff. So the video transferring all of my videos. So that this was going on to late August and everything like 2003, this is 2003. The video, the next video coming up is 2003. So that was right now, today is, um, Monday, September 4th, 2023. So yeah, happy Labor Day to all of you right now in 2023. So right now, I mean, this video showing up is on the late August. I've been kind of lagging on posting videos and everything. So yeah, I mean, anyway, but well, here it is. So all right, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you on the next one. Right now it's Thursday and I'm going on to Friday. But anyway, I just went over to June's house. Just went over to my co-worker's house to work on his car. I was doing the water pump but I found out that the new water pump was not going to work out. Was not going to work. And then I go to the auto zone. And then the guy told me that that water pump won't work unless I get a pulley. Unless I get a pulley for a Toyota Corolla that was made in America. Because the engine that was on his car, it was, that engine is a different engine. It's not the original one. And, it, and that engine came from Japan. So it was not going to, that new water pump was not going to work unless I either got the, the pulley, found a pulley that would work with that water pump. Or, or if we just special ordered the water pump from Japan or that kind of thing. So I guess I ended up putting the same water pump back on. Because the guy, the June, June feels that it's the water pump that's doing, that's up making the car overheat. But by experience though, if the water pump was bad, it would either be leaking a lot of water from the weep holes, they call it, or, or it would just make a lot of noise and it would, the bearing would be shot on it. Those are the only two times when, when it's considered bad. I can't really go to sleep right now.
to the trip to San Diego of a hundred and say about eight, about a hundred and eight. So, cuties. For, for. So, I'm just about a hundred miles into the trip. I got about less than 10 miles to go to get to Jenny's place, which is her, which is actually her uncle's house. Because right now, her family, her and her family is living at her uncle's house until they find a place of their own. It's always traffic around this area in my trip. <laughs> yeah, making a movie of this. <laughs> You're gonna make a movie of this? The guy's broken? No. I'm making a movie of my day. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 worst move, the worst day that you. <laughs> a belt broke. If I didn't <coughs> saw the belt broken, maybe we're gonna stay here for a longer. Yeah. Stay the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Get that out of here. What? It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's not there. It's not there. Picture of me. <laughs> it's a good one, eh? Yeah. It's a good one. That one? Yeah. That one? <laughs> yeah. Recording myself, too. That's how I record myself. That, like that? Yeah. That's with new doll. Let's go. Let's go. And then. Go set and then you see the car over there, make a right side over there. I make a ride in here. Yeah. Okay. What is in the parking lot? Yeah. In here. Yeah. All the way there because of the mountain. This is an upper level road moving through the area, and that's why the circulation is in a clockwise motion here. Uh, there's one of those coming across parts of Mexico. Now, what's going to happen with this? It's going to get that uh, will drag over much of Southern California later in the work week. 66 in the water, so there's a lot of cool off on the Inland Valley heat. Which will be there. That'll be the place to go. And uh, we're going to be running two to three feet. Brrr. I'm up real late again. To tomorrow morning. <clears throat> I'm going over to Jenny's house in San Diego. Ow. Oh. And I was all like. I've been up for a while now. And I was like. Um. This is Friday night, and, <clears throat> and I was all thinking about, you know, what what would have made me happy about this. Like, if I would have got this Ultima, like, for when I got the Ultima, I was trying to think of what would have made me happy. Because I wasn't really quite satisfied with the deal and everything, and I figured that what would have made me happy if I would have at least, at least been able to get the sunroof, sunroof and the at least maybe the, the spoiler or something at no extra charge you know or getting one of those at 15.999 and then adding some of those things or just getting one with everything that i like on a car at, at a good price but that's not all though <clears throat> more of all actually <clears throat> i was up predicting for the day you know and I predicted that for this month, I'll be able to put in, I'll be able to put in, uh, <clears throat> for the mobile home, what I owe. I owe 3700 at the moment. <clears throat> My prediction for the month of September 
by the end of the month. You know, even even if I, even though I have to pay the car payment at the end of that month, <clears throat> I predicted that I'm gonna be able to put in as much as about a thousand dollars to pay off the mobile home. A thousand dollars. I predicted a thousand dollars for this month, but but though for this month though, however, I predicted being able to put in only three hundred, only the minimum. That's it. <clears throat> I'm able to put a lot of money into what I owe on the mall home for this month, but on this month I won't be able to put that much, just the minimum. <clears throat> so, so in that case, in the next two months, two months from now, my prediction <clears throat> is as paying as owing thirteen hundred dollars less on the mall home. But I'll say 1200 to make it, you know, for sure, to make it a for sure thing. Right now, I owe approximately 30 This is just approximately what I owe. $3,700 <clears throat> I owe on this mobile home. And I predict being able to pay off 1200 more in the next couple of months. And I'll owe 2500 in the next couple of months. And then I would figure that I would be paying off three hundred on the a month on the average, three hundred or more on the average. And I would figure that by the end of this year, <clears throat> I would figure by this time, you know, by this time, the end of this year, I predict owing less than two thousand dollars on this mobile home. And right now, that's what I'm more focused at doing more than anything else in the world right now. Putting as much money into the mobile home, paying it off as soon as, putting all the money I can to pay off the mobile home as soon as I can. While putting all the effort I could and putting all the money that I can to pay it off as soon as I can. Because I want to get that out of my mind, you know. I need to get that, I need to get what I owe on this mobile home out of my mind. But this won't happen for the next six months, so that's the thing. But I want, well, my goal basically is just to at least, at least bring it down to $2,000 and then I would be happy. Bringing it down to less than $2,000, then I'll be able to get it out of my mind. Because, you know, I, I don't like to owe money on things like this, you know. I really don't. Except for the car. <clears throat> Except for the brand new car that I got. I really don't like to owe money. I really don't. I don't like owing money. And this mobile home, it's been bugging me for the longest time because of owing money. I don't like to owe money, you know. Because I want to achieve the goal of having no payment on this mobile home and paying just the spacer. And I want to be able to feel that it's only the spacer and that it's only 325 a month that I'm paying to live here. I tell you, I want to achieve the goal of, of being able to say that that's what I'm paying a month. To live here, three twenty-five. That's cheap too. But I cannot say that until I pay off the mobile home. I want to feel the the accomplishment of <clears throat> when I look at this mobile home and when I look at everything in it and this mobile home itself, knowing that it's all mines, all mines. You know where I owe nothing on it. It's my house. You know. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a neat, it's a, that's a neat feeling, and I'm looking forward to feeling that one day. And I will in the next six months. Ready to go to San Diego, but I'm using this car today because it's easy on the gas, and plus I want to save the miles in my new car. Well, 
her. I didn't sleep until 3.30 last night. How come? Because Friday night. <laughs> I like oh, to you watch TV? I like to stay up late on Fridays. You, stay, you, you watch TV? Yeah. Or play All video night. games. Only one person is Next week, get original with FX. Let's do it. Five nights of the best original movies at seven. Five nights of the best original series. They're starting Monday. Only on FX. Download Express. Only at Sears Auto Center. It's more than battery service. It's a check of your car's electrical system. We use the latest technology to diagnose the problem. You can tell to John. You can understand that. Peter. Yeah, yeah. The next music for Peter. watching that video or in the last half an hour of this tape and I just transferred it onto another tape mm -mm. 
riding cuties, riding cute Jenny, a letter about things, miscellaneous things. And I bought this tree for 20 bucks. Well, it's a fake tree. <laughs> and I used my birthday money to buy that. <laughs> Yars. Anyways. is telling me that Mars, the planet, is the closest to Earth as it's ever been in 60,000 years, they say. And they're saying that right now, that Mars is visible right now. And so if I go outside, I'll actually be able to see it, and I already saw it. And it's, it's what they say, the brightest object in the sky. And they say that it's like an orange red collar. Well, it's like a orange gold collar in the sky. And I guess the sun is reflecting it. So, and it does look like a star. It looks like a star. But we know that it's not though. And there it is. Hmm. And that's it. Hmm. I'm telling you over here. Right now it's 10.30 at night. And I feel pretty safe. Walking out here. <laughs> by myself anyway that's a trip that's Mars right there huh. that's supposedly Mars there's Mars
<laughs> Friday night. <laughs> this box here, yeah, like there. <laughs> it's funny. It's a small box. It's like a mini box. And I got, I was getting a kick out of the, this mini, mini sized box of Cheez Its. <laughs> That's why I bought it. <laughs> and then my snacks. I went to Walmart. Fur. Fur fur. The shape is real nice. I'm striving, I'm striving to keep my shape really good at all times. I'm always striving to keep my shape. Cause that's the only thing that makes me happy at this moment. My shape. I'm prideful on my shape and that's the only thing that makes me happy, really. My pride of my shape. Mm -hmm. I got myself a DVD recorder. Now I guess from this point, I guess I can say videotapes are now going to become obsolete from this point on. Hmm. That's going to be something new here. Well, I'm just going to take my time on transferring my videotapes onto this, you know. for my trash bag here and I got things to do here I'm gonna put this cereal in this box here I want to clean up in here I want to put everything away and throwing that cord away because it gave me stress earlier because I couldn't figure out why the thing wouldn't make sound and I found out because that thing was defective and it took me a long time it put stress on me, so I'm getting rid of that cord to get rid of the source of the stress, you know. <clears throat> Just so that way I don't come around to that cord uh, next time and wonder why I can't hear, hear the sound or something. Avoid the stress. So I'm going to clean up the house again. Put away clothes. <clears throat> and I'm um, experimenting recording on DVD and I found that it's just like recording on a VCR I found out that it's exactly like a VCR only difference is that it's a DVD instead it's the same exact concept as a VCR hmm and the other difference too if we have a CD if we have a DVD RW I mean if we have a DVD R we can only record it on it once. Well, of course, I can buy dub DVD RWs, and I can, and it can it'll be just like a video cassette. You know, you can I can record on them, erase them, and record over them, and everything. It's just like a VCR, and except that it's a DVD instead, which is a lot better than a VCR. Telling you, I'm all getting to know this thing, the DVD recorder, and I'm, I'm I can see that this is very complicated stuff. Well, this is like a complicated item, you know, like it's complicated to use. Well, like to use a the features, you know, like, to take advantage of the features on it, very, <laughs> dog.
looking at the cat. The dogs are looking at the kitty cats. <laughs> and I'm recording this on a DVD. One thing I've noticed though is that I noticed that when I record in the six hour mode on the DVD, I notice I notice the quality is very lost big time. So right now I'm recording in the four hour mode, you know, like the LP mode. I'm recording the LP mode and I'm I'm gonna find out how different the quality is. But I notice that it's a lot of it, quite a bit is lost. And another thing I noticed, it seems to me that this video tape recorder, the DVD recorder, actually sort of like digitalizes the 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 video tape. Huh, it's crazy. Well, that's when I record in the EP mode. It looks all digitalized because I could see the lack of quality there. But I'm gonna see how it comes out here. <laughs> so on Monday, I go to Jenny's house. <clears throat> I'm barely getting to know this DVD recorder. It's like, you know, like getting into the details of the of the um features you know that's very complicated here very complicated and it takes only people like me who's real smart you know intelligent to be able to understand this but even me i'm having sort of a hard time understanding some of this For so as I see it, that's the very first DVD DVD that I've ever recorded on. And I'm recording home movies, but actually this DVD recorder here, I actually have it. I actually wanted it for one reason and one reason only, and that is to transfer all of these home movies onto DVD. That's the only reason, actually. The only, that's the sole reason why I wanted a DVD recorder. And that's just about the only reason that I know of. <laughs> <coughs> I guess I'm finalizing my very first DVD. My very first one. Hmm. And what was kind of unique was that I'm actually able to erase a certain track that I recorded. Hmm, that gets quite interesting. For my hair is getting long. Very thinned out. Telling you. I got things to learn on this DVD recorder. You know, this is kind of like the same concept of my CD recorder. We have to finalize a CD. And these are subject to getting screwed up, like the CDRs, you know, where, where the CD record just suddenly stops operating on that CD, you know, like where, where it just gets damaged like for no reason at all, you know. These are subject for doing that too. DVDs are subject to doing that too. But one thing about DVDs though, DVD recording as compared to CD recording is it's a lot more simpler because all I gotta do is just play the videotape and just let it play and then just let it record all the way through. I don't have to be watching to select the tracks or anything. I don't have to do that stuff with a DVD. But with a CD, 
recorder. I have to, like if I'm recording off a record, I have to stand by the record, you know. I have to stand by the CD recorder so I can make sure I can manually set the tracks. <clears throat> I didn't really sleep that good last night, but if, if I was lying down for the last 12 hours, that's considered enough sleep. That's in, considered enough rest. If I was lying around, even if I was, um, even if my mind was all occupied with the CD, DVD burner and everything. For sure. <clears throat> so, being happy that I resisted buying rims for my car, because I almost bought rims last night. And then... So instead, it's like I ended up buying a DVD burner. So I think, as of last night, I spent three fifty, three hundred fifty dollars for it. Three twenty nine plus taxes. That's a good price for it too. At least that's today's time. But I'm sure that five years from now, we could probably pick one of these up for a hundred and fifty dollars or even less. <laughs> like a VCR, you know. Eventually, it'll be like a VCR, you know. And you know what, that DVD recorder is just like a VCR, actually. <laughs> because it has channels and you can record off the TV and everything. Just like a VCR, you know. <laughs> My space rent this month is $333. For the space rent. And the utilities. I think I'm paying like thirty dollars this month for electricity, but the sewer got more expensive. I guess they the, the price went up on the sewer. I guess I don't know. And other things like that. <clears throat> so right now I'm gonna go to Walmart and buy some more blank DVDs. I think they're you know they're not any cheaper than two bucks a piece. Those three right there, I paid seven dollars plus tax for those three. So, well, DVDs are not that cheap, but come to think about it, you know, they're they're not that much more expensive than a regular video cassette, because you can buy a videotape for a dollar these days, or even less sometimes. But that's the lowest it goes, though. But, you know, some videotapes will cost like $2 or $3. They, they, they actually are like $2 on the average for a good one, for a good brand or good quality one. But with these DVD-Rs, though, we can only record on them once. So you have to be careful not to mess up. But actually, it's not that easy to mess up on those, though, actually. It's not that easy, not compared to a CD-R, you know. Because if I make a mistake, because it's more inedible that I'm going to make a mistake on a CDR when I'm recording off a record or because sometimes I may not get the, my, I may not be there when the song ends and so I can manually set the track or, you know, things like that, you know. So I think the DVD is not going to be that bad. It's not going to be... A chore for me to transfer all of my home movies onto DVD. <coughs> DVD RAM. Ow! It just went to Walmart and I got the thingies that I wanted. DVDRs. This one was $23. But they're collared, hmm, collared DVD-Rs, and they came with these cases. <laughs> and then I got these cables that are high quality. That way I can have a, hmm, hmm. I thought I bought two of those. I thought I bought two of these things. Oh well. <laughs> 